Portugal was a neutral country during World War II, though it had its biases, and was successful in trading with both the Allies and the Axis. Portugal had a wartime population of just 6 million, a small economy, and a small army. Portugal had a unique political situation at the outbreak of the war. The Portuguese government was an authoritarian government, ruled by Antonio Salazar, who ran the country from 1932 all the way to 1968. Salazar, unlike other dictators in Europe at the time, did not brutally oppress his people, or tie his government to racist ideology. Salazar even believed the persecution of Jews went against his government's Catholic values. At the start of World War II in 1939, the Portuguese government announced its neutrality, despite having a 550-year-old alliance with Great Britain. Portuguese neutrality was respected by the British government. This neutrality would aid in many ways, as it kept Portugal a safe neutral escape route for refugees. Upwards to an estimated 1 million people would flee Nazi-dominated Europe through Portugal. The Portuguese government both helped and hindered this process. At times, it limited visas to stateless Jews, but also granted special visas to others. Many Portuguese consulates operated using their own discretion across Europe to save lives. Britain respected Portugal due to their long history and alliance together, but the Axis also looked favorably on the nation. Salazar supported Franco's nationalists in neighboring Spain, who were favored by Italian and German fascists. This gained Portugal favor with Hitler and Mussolini. Portugal further saw good relations with Spain, wanting to limit any chance of an invasion through the country by Axis forces. However, Portugal was small enough and distant enough to maintain open trade with both the Allies and Axis throughout the war, without open hostility by either side. Wolframite was one such vital good it traded with both sides directly. Wolframite was a key resource in producing tungsten, a metal used in steel hardening, an extremely important war material. Portugal displeased Britain by trading 75% of this resource to Germany and only 25% to Britain. But Britain, unlike Germany, was primarily allowed to trade in credit, whereas Germany often had to pay in gold. Portugal only stopped shipping Wolfram to Germany after the D-Day invasion of Europe, and the war's outcome was becoming clear. The other vital resource Portugal was in possession of were the Azores Islands. These islands could be used to protect Allied convoys, or used to refuel German U-boats. Churchill and Roosevelt jointly decided to occupy the islands, but this was done diplomatically, leading to Salazar's first official taking sides action. Salazar approved of the occupation, but not openly. The Allied airfields would be constructed in secret. The airbase ultimately aided in the protection of Allied convoys and were used in transferring bombers to the Pacific Theater. Ultimately, Portugal successfully benefited from both sides during the war. Portugal can be remembered as giving safe passage to thousands fleeing Nazi persecution and at the same time accepting looted Jewish gold and diamonds from Germany while providing war material. However you view Portugal and Salazar, he kept his people out of a war they were not equipped to fight, and he did make good on the world's oldest alliance, handing the Azores Islands to the British when in need. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this little brief on Portugal during World War II. As always, feel free to expand on anything in the comments section. Liking the video and or subscribing helps the channel. Have a nice day and we'll see you in the next one.